we continue our discussion of the method of characteristics. So we start with our PDE. And this is supposed to satisfy initial conditions in the form Suppose now that we have a solution of this equation satisfying initial conditions and this solution is u plus u of xy and we can plot its graph in the xy u space. So here is the graph of the solution. And now, initial condition for this solution, which is this, we know that we can interpret as a curve here on the surface of a solution. We also know that we can weave our solution by means of characteristic curves. which satisfy system of ODEs where I will be using dot as derivative of a function with respect to variable t so dot x is just dx over dt, right? So characteristic curves like this white curve here satisfy this system of ordinary differential equations and this system of ODEs is supposed to satisfy initial conditions Here the parameter S is a parameter along the initial curve, so S runs here. Given a characteristic curve like the one here on this picture, like this one, we can consider its projection from XYU space onto the XY plane. Such lines are called characteristics. And this is a characteristic curve. I stress we have two notions here. First, these are characteristic curves which lie on a surface of a solution whereas characteristics are projections of characteristic curves onto xy plane. So this is a characteristic curve, this is a characteristic. In general, functions a, b and c standing in my PDE star depend on all variables x, y, u but now we consider a special case when functions a and b do
do not depend on you. So what we can say in this particular case? Let us look at the ODEs for characteristic curves. We have and and finally so if we look at these equations we see that the first two decouple from the third Why? Because variable u is not present in the first two equations. So what are these first two equations about? They look like and they describe curves In the XY plane, which are nothing else but projections projections of characteristic curves. onto the xy plane and these are nothing else but just characteristics so in the special case where functions a and b do not depend on u, the first two equations for the characteristic curves just give equations for our characteristics. Actually, by applying chain, chain rule and using the first two equations for characteristic curves, we see that the curves y as a function of x and perhaps parameter s describing characteristics satisfy an ODE to summarize in the case when the functions a and b do not depend on you, characteristics satisfy an ODE solutions of this ODE are parameterized by parameter s here because a given characteristic like this one is a projection of a characteristic curve from here and it corresponds to a certain value of the parameter s that tells us at which point our characteristic curve 
intersects the initial condition. We now consider still more special case in which functions a and b will not depend on u as before, but in addition we'll also assume that function c is identically equal to zero. So here is our special case. Now consider a one parameter family of characteristics They are parameterized by a parameter S and these characteristics are obtained by projecting characteristic curves transversal to the initial curve to the xy plane. As we know, they satisfy the following OD. Now we are interested in the following question. What are the values of the unknown function u of xy along a given characteristic? Inserting the dependence of y on x into the unknown u, we want to know what is the behavior of the function u twiddle of x being... We calculate what is the rate of change of u twiddle with respect to x by taking its x derivative. We use the chain rule. So du twiddle over dx is u sub x dx over dx plus u sub y dy over dx. We now use ODE satisfied by the characteristics and we replace dy over dx by b over a. Now subtracting 1 over a we obtain But this thing, which is in the parentheses, is the left-hand side of our PD, which is equal to C. So therefore, the rate of change of U twiddle with respect to X is C over A. But C, we assume to be zero. The rate of change of U twiddle is zero. Function u twiddle is constant along the characteristics. We summarize our considerations in the following corollary. Every solution of our PDE with c equals zero is constant along characteristics. Let us illustrate this on an example. We consider a PDE of the form. This is only defined when x is smaller or equal to zero, so we restricted this PDE to the half plane. When solving this PDE, we can apply usual method of characteristics 
by solving for characteristic curves. But because here this function c is equal to 0, or right hand side is equal to 0, it is better to use our corollary. So we need to find characteristics which satisfy the ODE its general solution is with S1 being arbitrary constant. We can also write it in such a way that both independent variables are on the left hand side and then the solution takes the form like here. Thus the solutions to the PDE star are constant along the curves which we just have found and which are just characteristics of the PDE. This in particular means that the general solution to our PDE is where function f is an arbitrary function of one variable. So applying our corollary, we found the general solution, which is this one, to our PDE, which is here. What about a situation in which a solution is supposed to satisfy an initial condition? For example, an initial condition in which u of 0y is equal y squared. Substituting x equals 0 to our general solution with function f, we obtain the relation between f and y. Introducing now t equal 3 half of y and inverting this for y we find a general form of a single variable function f of t which equals 4 ninths t squared thus from all f's which give a general solution to our PDE our initial condition picks up f such that f applied on a variable is just 4 9 of this variable squared. So if we just take 4 9ths of 3 half times y plus minus x to the power 3 halves and everything squared, then we obtain the particular solution to our PDE satisfying our initial conditions. So here is our PDE. Here is its general solution obtained in terms of an arbitrary differentiable function f of one variable. And here is general solution for the characteristics. We plotted them in xy plane as follows. The colored curves correspond to various values of the parameter constant staying on the right hand side of the general solution for the characteristics. Now, if we add initial condition, then this initial value curve is visible on the xy plane as the red curve, which is just x equal to 0. This red line is a projection of the initial value curve from xyu space to the xy space. Let us now see how our solution looks in xyu space. Here the plane weaved by the green curves is the xy plane. The green curves are just characteristics. The red line from which green curves emanate is the line x equal to 0. The red parabola is the initial value curve in the xyu space. The blue curves emanating from the initial value parabola 
are characteristic curves. Their projections on XY space are the green curves, which are characteristics.